Welcome to our praise and prayer class. This week, we are celebrating our graduates by having a little graduation ceremony for our grade eight and our grade 12 graduates. You will see a picture of each one of them. We will hear a worship song from one of our grade 12 grads, some greetings from their youth leaders and junior high leaders, and together we're going to pray for our graduates. We're so proud of each one of you, and we want to recognize your accomplishments through a very difficult year. You know, God has a great big plan for each one of your lives. You have great influence. In 1 Timothy 4.12, it says, Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and purity. So I want to encourage you to keep pursuing Jesus. Keep him at the center of your life. And I want to give you a couple of tips, a little acrostic. Tell others about Jesus. Invite them to church and to youth events and Christian concerts with you so they can hear about him. Pray for your friends and continue to show God's love. God bless each one of you and enjoy our graduation ceremony today. Psalms 113 verse 2 and 3. Let the name of the Lord be praised, both now and forevermore, from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets. The, na the name of the Lord is to be praised. Congratulations to all of our graduates. We celebrate with you today and give thanks to God for the milestones that you've reached. You've come so far from places like this where you've studied over the years and we look forward to the future with you by faith, knowing that the best is yet to come. That's something that's true for all of us as we trust in God and as we look to him. So let's pray. At this moment, Lord, we pause to praise you. And today as we celebrate such significant milestones in the lives of so many of our young people as they graduate, we give you thanks for all of your help in the past. Thank you for helping these students, and thank you for helping us all over the years. We also come to you with faith and optimism as we look to the future. You know where we've come from, and we trust you to lead us on into the future. Use our education, our life experiences, our energy, and time to advance your kingdom as you work in us and through us. Please speak to our hearts today. Fill us with joy, courage, and hope, both now and forevermore, we ask. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello, church family. Today we celebrate our grade 8 graduates. It sure has been a different year this year. We weren't able to meet like we always do at church. But we did enjoy seeing all your smiling faces during our weekly Zoom meetings. And that way, at least we got to know you somewhat better. We want to congratulate you on your graduation and we want to wish you well as you enter high school. There's two verses that I want to leave with you that we talked about recently at youth. Ephesians 2 verse 10, we are God's masterpiece created in Christ to do good works. And Philippians 4 verse 3, I can do all things through Christ, which gives me strength. We know that you are going to do amazing things. Congratulations. Congratulations.
wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. And those who are peace-loving will plant seeds of peace and reap a harvest of righteousness. James 3, 17 and 18. Congratulations, graduates. You did it. You made it to the end of the school year. And we are so proud of you, your youth leaders and your church family. We want to say congratulations today. We want to celebrate you and the work that you have done. You have persevered in situations that might have felt almost impossible this year. You have persevered through a year that brought a lot of grief and sorrow and sadness, missing friends, missing out on trips and prom and graduation, all the things that you might have been looking forward to this year. And so while we celebrate with you, we also grieve with you. And we pray that God will comfort you and help you work through um, those thoughts and feelings that have been hard this year. But today we celebrate. We say congratulations. You persevered in ways that you might not have thought you could. And God's goodness has been with you all along the way. And we anticipate September for you. Maybe it's grade nine, maybe you're taking a gap year, entering college or university. Whatever you have planned for this fall, God's goodness is going ahead of you. He is cheering you on along with us and your church, your whole church family. And we wanna say that we love you and we are praying for you. And we hope that you feel a wonderful sense of satisfaction at the completion of this year. Huge congratulations to each one of you. Blessings. My name is DJ. I'm a volunteer with the Senior High Youth and I've been asked to pray on behalf of our graduates. So if you'd like to bow your heads with me, let's approach the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your kindness and your goodness to us. God, we praise you for your sovereignty. We know that you have placed uh, these particular graduates in this difficult year for a reason. Um, and God, we pray that as they've come out of this year now and as they prepare to the next stage of life, God, that you would continue to reveal more of yourself to them. God, help them to understand how much they need to rely on you. Um, make yourself known to them, God. Help them to grow in their love and their worship of you. Uh, we look ahead to the next chapter of their life. God, we pray for your hand of blessing over them uh, as they continue to grow in, in more and more in love with you. God, we ask for all these things in your name and for your glory. Amen.